Hello fellow knights and ladies of the realm, welcome back to another episode of Mod Trilogy, where we take a look at three new mods that have just hit the modding scene for Skyrim on Xbox. If you're new to the channel, I highly recommend subscribing for more content like this, and don't forget to check out our growing Discord server for more modding guides, which I'll leave a link to in the description of today's video. To kick this off, we will be taking a sharp look at Headhunter Bounties redone by Skyrim Leona. With this mod installed, bounty quests are expanded. Now when you do a bounty quest, they require proof that you've completed them. No longer will you be able to just claim to have defeated a bandit. Now you will need to get proof that you have completed the bounty. When you kill a bandit, giant, or dragon for example, they will receive an item in their inventory when you loot them. Other than that, you can capture prisoners for those who play a lawful or more forgiving character such as the Holy Paladin. Bounties on bandit leaders can now be brought to justice. To do this, make sure that the leader is kneeling, which happens at low health, and then you can talk to them and order them to give up the fight. You can of course loot them via the dialogue options, which I think is hilarious. After that, just hand them on over to any guard you run into. The bandit will then be taken to the nearest prison, where the prisoner will stay permanently. <laughs> You can have up to 8 maximum prisoners at a time. After that number is met, the oldest prisoner will then be executed off screen to make room for the new ones, which I think is really cool. This is such a fun mod that I highly recommend you all pair with missives by Iron Dusk with the patch along with more gold and perks from Bounty Quest to truly make the Bounty Quest that much more enjoyable. Alright, on to the next mod showcase. <gasps> What's this? A new weather mod bundle? Nani? Yes, we will be taking a look at Rustic Weathers and Night Sky 1K by Clovis. I'm really excited about this mod because of the overall small lightweight package it comes in. Visually right off the bat you can see that the world looks really good without switching to different presets or display enhancements. Some of the presets included are filmic, harsh, vibrant, Pixar, Fantasy, Bleak, and even Vikings. This mod includes Rustic Weathers and Lighting along with the preset options for it, Obsidian Mountain Fogs, and finally Night Sky HD 1K. There are actually several options for this mod which I will link in the description of the video, featuring 1K to 4K versions, and then just the Rustic Weathers and Fog version which doesn't have the Night Sky included. Upon messing with these presets, I have actually found a really good setup for this mod in combination with display enhancements utilizing Rustic Weather's preset Harsh, then bumping up the contrast and saturation by 2. This alone makes the world space look really amazing for cheap. Additionally, you can throw in preset 28 to blur out that background. However, a lot of people may not like this feature, so again, it is optional. So the final mod I am really excited to showcase is the Living World 2 bundle by Substill. With this mod installed, you will receive several mods which are a collection of smaller file size mods that make Skyrim look and sound more impressive, such as more dramatic Nordic and Dwemer Ruin entrances, better looking roads, ancient roadside landmarks, and bridges, improved ambient sounds, more realistic looking windmills, temples, road signs, and windows, upgraded visuals for moss on rocks, haze, mists, butterflies, water drops, falling leaves, and weapon impacts. You also get moss growing on shoreline rocks and flora regrowing as designed. This mod for such a low cost overhauls your Skyrim breathing new life into this old as dirt game that just never ceases to end. I had a lot of fun looking at this jaw dropping environmentally stable mod and I highly recommend you all download this mod and giving it a try for yourselves. Alright that's going to be it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe but as always Here's to a happy Skyrim and to many more adventures.